Hi friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like your video. Thank you all. The best vehicle in Mitsubishi's lineup is the best new Mitsu in generations, but it ain't perfect. Despite our consistent preaching at the altar of minivan superiority, some folks still can't bring themselves to buy one. Fair enough. Until recently, if one of those buyers wanted a recommendation for a new affordable three-row plug-in hybrid family car, they'd either need to swallow their pride and buy a Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid or grab a much pricier Volvo XC90 or Lincoln Aviator. Now, in addition to the midsize Kia Sorento FEV, there is a new Mitsubishi Outlander FEV. The standard Outlander was a pleasant surprise at last year's SUV of the Year competition. A 2022 redesign brought the Outlander to the same platform as the Nissan Rogue, which contributes to a colossal improvement over the vehicle it replaced. Among our complaints was the coarse, underpowered four-cylinder, a problem solved with the new plug-in hybrid. The current-gen Outlander FEV is 2.1 seconds quicker to 60 mph than the standard SUV, and not one of this year's judges complained about lack of power. That said, the heft of Mitsubishi's largest SUV was still made obvious to most judges by abundant roll through corners and excess body movements after hitting a bump. There was dissent, though, Digital Director Eric Johnson acknowledged the softness but called it well-controlled, and Detroit Editor Elisa Priddle called the Outlander fun and nimble. Although numerous judges praised the one-pedal drive mode with regenerative braking, drivers who forego that feature will contend with a brake pedal action that associate editor Alex Lenz called long, mushy, and vague. Likewise, if you run out of juice or ask for full throttle and wake up the engine, the requisite noise is wheezy and unpleasant. Of course, there's a subset of buyers who won't notice or care about the details of the driving experience, only that it has enough get up and go for merging and passing. That buyer will instead be wowed by quilted leather upholstery and an outstanding list of features. Who could have guessed there would one day be a Mitsubishi with a panoramic glass roof, a large touchscreen, a digital instrument cluster, and massaging seats? The Outlander FEV's 38 miles of electric-only range is more than any other mainstream three-row plug-in hybrid, the Sorento and Pacifica are both rated for 32 miles, and it's the only vehicle of that trio with fast charging capability. Problem is, the Outlander might as well be a two-row SUV. The rearmost seat is so cramped it qualifies as disingenuous to Mitsubishi's customers, Len said, and SUV of the Year guest Judge Gordon Dickey noted the seats and headrests are really awful. None of this leaves the Mitsubishi totally down and out. The electric range is great and feature content exceptional, but if you absolutely need a three-row plug-in hybrid that it's in a minivan, the Kia Sorento offers better packaging and similar features at a competitive price point, and that SUV delivers a much better driving experience. The Outlander hybrid would be perfect for the eco-conscious buyer who, say, carpools five young elementary school students on a 40-mile loop, or only needs the third row very occasionally, regardless of occupant size. 